Greetings, beloved hearts, beautiful people of the earth. My divinity to yours. Welcome to Ascension Star Portal. Thank you if you are new. Thank you if you are returning. I take this opportunity to thank you all for your comments, your clicks, your love, your light, your blessings and I return it abundantly to each and every one of you. Those that are subscribed and familiar with the channel do know that I channel the Divine Spirit. And of late, the topic has been the Royal Family. It is always in love and light that I bring these messages fairly non-judgmentally but truthfully as rawfully truthfully as I know and feel it to be. There are energies that impress that I cannot just yet air. So there is an amount of information that is censored. So with that today I wish to speak about in the in the message in the channel Thomas Kingston. He was married to Lady Gabriella, who is Prince William's cousin and about the same age. She is the daughter of the Prince and Princess Michael of Kent. Right. Thomston Kingston was found dead at his parents home I think it was approximately 6 p.m. that evening after having um, had dinner or something to eat I wasn't following it very closely but just the top of my head remember that he was at his parents home and they took the dogs off for a walk and when they returned they found him dead in a shed or building on the property and it is that took place on the 25th of February and then on the 27th of February the palace announced this shocking news so indeed it was shocking um, for the royal family for his personal family and ever since I brushed it off as a possibility of one of the death messages that were coming up in the royal family spreads that I've been doing but we didn't talk about anybody outside of the family. We were talking specifically of um, Princess Catherine, Prince William, um, the King, the Queen, etc. So it was quite a shock for me to hear that and I've been very uneasy since. So I have been asking Spirit to, you know, impress upon me if I should go ahead and do this. I'm feeling this energy. I don't feel settled about it, you know, and it's do you give permission that I, I, we bring through his energy and let's just have clarity, not just for myself, but for others that are feeling a similar type of vibration of uncertainty and, um, you know, peculiarity surrounding the circumstances of his death. They do say there was nothing untoward that took place. It was, you know, um, a possible uh, suicide. So let's have a look and see what the divine would bring in so from this deck i did do a pre-shuffle of the deck and always cards jump out and it sort of gives me an idea as to what is coming so the card of judgment jumped out and then the second shuffle i did the card of death jumped out so very applicable to the circumstance so show me divine spirit give me three messages to bring in the feel of energy surrounding Thomas Kingston's death. Right, we have um, deprivation, deprived, an energy of somebody being deprived, deprived of what? Deprived of life, deprived of speaking out, deprived of defending themselves. This actually looks like a person or a silhouette of a person an image of a person in a box 
Oh, okay, we have loss underneath. So clearly his debt was a loss. Right, so we're not doing any more. The spirit starts telling a whole lot of other things. And let's just get to it. Give me two more, please. Show us the energy surrounding Thomas Kingston's death. Bring through the energy surrounding Thomas Kingston's death to please. Okay, we have partnerships and love. Survival underneath, so he must have tried his best to survive the situation. Something about a risk. Right. Give me one more. Deceit. So this was not self-inflicted straight away we can see that this was by and through deception right if you look at this card straight away i'm being told i hope you can see it it's it's not very clear it's a very silhouette um sort of airbrushed type of artwork you see a couple of men they do not look very pleasant and you see a particular person who has a man in his arm or under his arm in a battle, not letting that person loose. You know, it's as if you suffocate that person by blocking his airways um, at the throat area. So this is showing an energy of attack. This was not self-inflicted. This was not suicide. This was, it's deceit. The, the, the message, the information coming through is deceitful. And I think we saw the survival card was every bit of himself tried to survive this ish, the situation with heaven showing themselves, reaching out, but could not enter the physical in which to help. Oh, Sibirit says, look at the date, 27. So yes, that was the date his death was announced. Can you see that? If I bring it closer. There's the 27th. Right? Oh, my word. And there's the 2, which is the February. The month of February. So... This took place on in the second month and on the 27th. All right, so straight away from this, we can identify that this was not balance. This was part of the judgment, the scale. Something needs to balance the, the conspiracy or the theory behind it is not balanced. Um, okay. Is there anything else? Let me just ask. I did ask for three. Is there anything else, Spirit, that you want to add to this? What is the situation around Kingston's death? We have, we have the card of self-esteem. self-esteem so this could be a possibility of his character being questioned his his values his morals something took place behind the scenes that questioned his his values his morals his character He was, he was a man of 
nobility. I think from what I briefly heard and read, he was a financial an um, analyst, he was a hostage negotiator, he was very good with economics and banking, and I think he was a director of a company. You know, I haven't gone into deep research, so do forgive me. You are welcome to do your research. I'm not doing a whole life, um, you know, portfolio profile on him. I'm just giving you a reading that needed to enlighten those that are unfamiliar with who he is. So definitely his integrity, his his demeanor, something about him was being questioned and seemed to have discomforted someone. Maybe he stood up for himself or he spoke his truth. But what concerns me is partnership and love. How does this fit into the equation? Did it have something to do with an ex-relationship? He was the ex or former boyfriend of Pippa Middleton, who is Princess Catherine's sister. So could this um, death have something involved with a relationship or a love interest with someone? I'm not saying, you know, Pippa again, I'm just saying could it be that he was found out about something? Or something was found out about him and someone else. Okay, let's just ask for one more. Give me one more, please. Give me one more. What is surrounding the energy? of deceit, partnership and love. We've got imagination. So perhaps we're being asked to use our imagination and bring this together. And the bottom of the deck is discontent. You know, again here we see silhouettes of of energy in the background, like, you know, people playing out different scenarios and him standing here in the dark. This looks like a mask. Somebody wore a mask. These look like children. If we look at this, this is two little kids. I'm not sure if he did have children. I haven't looked up, but could he have been involved with somebody that could have been pregnant with a child and was hiding behind this and somebody found out use your imagination well this is unfamiliar to me I'm not getting much clarity on use your imagination perhaps saying try and tie this all up together and Okay, we've established from here that he was being questioned or under scrutiny for something to do with him in a relationship or a partnership. Probably a very hidden, discreet, something that was found out or he knew something and was ready to tell. He was ready to speak truth. And he was deprived of doing that and hence a loss of life. And he went into great battle, um, probably interrogated before. It could be work-related. You know, it could be something to do with his, his job, his line of work. Maybe he knew high-profile information and was under attack um, until it got physical. right next to each other we have deception on love and partnership so partnership could be business partnership that 
maybe he was involved with a female in a business partnership and it went ugly somebody found out or it could be a combination of it try to get out of it and it there was threat behind it but it, it was very happy in the beginning you can see everyone holding hands and it all seemed to have been going very well in the beginning but it turned very ugly it turned very ugly when he was confronted confronted about it and I think that's when this attack took place which ended up him being in this little box of darkness you know this is a corner of a room where he gave up um, or was meant to give up by what appears not to be intrusive but we don't see that here we see it being intrusive he was attacked he was attacked you know I hardly believe that you would go to your parents home have a full-on meal and then you would want to go and kill yourself um, and leave your parents with that type of a picture and pain forever you want to do something like that you you do it in an in a place that you don't leave such a scarring especially to your elderly parents um, I don't know how old the parents are but if he's 45 then his parents must be in their early 60s or mid 60s or older I find it odd I found it very odd and his death was announced only two days later and it wasn't immediate You know, a royal mem a member of the royal family passes on. It's breaking news. You know, Princess Diana died in a, in a car crash. Imme almost immediately, it was it was televised. All right, let's move on. Give us more. Give us more on Kingston. Um, Thomas Kingston's death, please. What is what are the reasons? What was the build up to this? Show us. Give us an understanding of where this was coming from. King of Wands. It was. Hmm. What else? Clearly royal. Royal family issue. It came from somebody high up. What was this about? Show me. Has it something to do with the royal family? Is, is that what you're trying to tell us? Show me more, please. Okay, I have a card that um, tried to get onto my lap. Let's just see. Okay, we have Hierophant. Then we have High Priestess underneath, but I'm not taking that. What else? Two of Swords. I'll show you the cards. Let me just get a couple out. What else? Give me one more and then we start. All right, let's see what's this. Nine of Cups. Look what's at the bottom. The Devil. So this was a dark deed. This was a dark deed. There's no doubt about it. This was a dark deed. Look what's... That's justice. And justice came out of this deck when in the pre-shuffle. Sorry, judgment did. Well, roundabout, it's, it's about the same type of energy being sanctioned for judgment, for justice. This was the work of dark. This was intended, it was planned. 
it was an, like an assassination or you could call it an assassination and it was done very professionally okay let's look king of wands somebody ambitious plotted and planned very strategic at what they did right it was in the works for some time because something was discovered and I believe there was a lot of counsel or mentorship given in which to derive to that solution I do not feel a solution or a conclusion could be reached um, something was deep, very intense for a decision to be made um, like that. It was a high profile situation. It was a hot tempered situation. And it reached a height. It reached a peak in which to play out like that. truth is kept from the public it's hidden I believe and feel that he tried to guard himself from this happening he tried to get out of it uh, you know get away from it but unfortunately it just followed him and he got in too deep and sadly was not given the opportunity to defend himself he was defenseless. But this is something that it is heralding from the royal family, the, the palace, the, the kingdom. It is, it is not an outside business partnership issue. It has something to do with the inside. And the truth is hidden. Well, clearly it would be. We have the Nine of Cups. And yet, it's on the table. Spirit's not saying anything about it yet. So, let's find out what. I feel the Nine of Cups has something to do with this probably happiness and contentment or joy that brought in a, a a love relationship or partnership or even a close friendship that had maybe not a romantic love interest but a platonic close love interest somebody confiding in him or him confiding in somebody and perhaps that was found out and not liked And the fact that it, it's the Nine of Cups, it's been going on for a while. You know, it was a long time, a long relationship or friendship. Nine is how many months a woman can be pregnant as well. So, earlier I asked the question, could, could there be a child involved? I saw children on one of the cards, right? And could it be possible that there was a child? Someone was having his child and seemed to be very happy for nine months and something untoward has taken place. I keep feeling a baby let's go on show me more what is going on the queen of wands we have the king and the queen out hot tempered fired energy mind very focused on something
let's just find out what else because I do I don't feel this is Camilla right so this is not Camilla's energy yet I don't feel that with the two feminine energies here I'm not feeling who it is yet but there could be you know the extra energies around the table that have these discussions and reach these conclusions so show me more what else if Thomas Kingston passed away by negative means two women involved he was trying to juggle two women he was trying to juggle two women and one was to become the queen or to have a higher ranking one was a queen in his eyes right he was juggling two women was he juggling two women okay let's find out because this still is very unclear did it start this way and was it to end this way was the transition to be made from ordinary to extraordinary is that going to be um, a future of somebody's energy but they were juggling the situation over a period of time so give me more please Give me more. What is going on with the feminine energies on the table in regards to Thomas Kingston that led to his death? Judgment. Let me turn the deck. I was asked to turn the deck. I don't always look at the bottom of the deck and most of the times when I'm asked to look at it or I happen to see it, um, you know, I don't believe in coincidence, but I happen to see it. Then I turn it over. Now, these were the two cards that I spoke about that came out in the pre-shuffle when I used this deck to shuffle. To get the energy flowing before the reading. To prepare the decks. Judgment and death. So clearly he passed on, but that's a death we established, but his death was judged and sanctioned by somebody, not by himself. And definitely not by God, because God doesn't use a gun. See, we have the Empress here, right? This is somebody in power. This is somebody in power and with a very big title but I wasn't feeling Camilla's energy on the table but the Empress is also a very maternal energy somebody that oops somebody that um, could be pregnant somebody that could bring or give birth to children a promise of pregnancy a promise of maternity a promise of abundance right so I do feel that I was changing the deck anyway so spirit says yes change the deck this feels to me there's a connection to Princess Catherine. Well, I'm just going to say it. All right. And we do know that this took place possibly because of that. 
but I'm going to clarify that, right? I want to move to another deck before we ask for clarification. Right. I've taken another deck, Spirit. Please give me the wall card try to come out. So the page of cups, so definitely that was news. Okay, so they're saying the news that came out to the world was back to back. It, it it's the opposite of what happened. It is not the truth. It's misleading. It's deceitful. Use your imagination to figure out what took place. Right? Use your imagination to figure out what took place. But it is not the truth. victory for someone somebody won the person that did this or did this won but did not win in positivity that person won in darkness so the victory is in their mind because they took away the truth from the people. The people are in the dark. Do you see silhouettes of people? But the victors in, in the light. So the people are in the dark. So the news, the message that was given to the people in the world is not the truth. And it seems like somebody keeps winning in this game. Show me. Ace of Cups. That's the all seeing eye of God. The cup is empty. It needs to fill. God is watching every single thing and cycle that is playing out at the moment and karma is coming. But I don't feel yet that this issue will be exposed. This issue was a distraction. I feel that, but I want to confirm that. Show me, Spirit. Was Kingston's death a distraction to what the issues are currently in the royal family. Yes. There's two parts to the story. It is a distraction. There's two sides to the story. There's two options. There's two choices. There's two decisions. So right now, there's no one-way street here. There's no one-way path. There's no direction. There's no clarity or, or transparency of a singular channel of truth. We will go this way or we will go that way. Whichever way sways in our favor, that's where we will go and that's how we will um, travel. That's how we will be seen. That is how the world will perceive. So this is, this is definitely, let me show you how the cards fell out, slid out actually, right, they were meant to be that way, they slid out, and look at that card, the devil, and under that is the tower, this is a disaster. This is a huge disaster taking place. 
as I said, God is watching what is going on and karma is coming. The devil will have to be caught. Right? They will have to be caught. But when and how, we cannot yet say. That's not in our control. But this is misleading people to take the wrong path, to take make the wrong decisions or come to the wrong conclusions. This definitely involves children or a child. This has something to do with the children or a child. So, we're not sure if someone was having, was pregnant with his child or they were considering having a child quietly. But this definitely affects children. Okay, and there goes the candle to say, yes, you are right. Something to do with children. Right, is there anything else from here? Yes, there is. What turned over? Did I see something turn over? I did, but I don't see it anymore. All right, show me. Say anything else, Spirit, before we clarify a few messages. Because this is very peculiar. It is. It's very cryptic. Lovers. So it is definitely a love relationship that he had with somebody in a senior position in the royal family that led to his demise. It was found out. It was a love relationship. There's lovers here. Right. And that's where that ties in. And there could have been a possible pregnancy because there are children involved here. I don't know if he has children of his own. Right. But it is a love relationship. I am not judging the situation. I cannot confirm 100% if that is valid, but I am telling you what I am feeling and you can see what is presenting itself. Give me one more, please. Yes, action was taken message got out word got out about this right an action was taken to end it news was broken or this whole situation was uncovered discovered and now it's been covered Show me the energy of the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Did the King of Wands have something to do with Thomas Kingston's passing? Three of Pentacles, it did. It was worked, it was planned, it was strategized, it was networked. It was a three-way process, right? And it had to do with upholding the royal family's image and prestige to end this because something took place. And again, if you look, a man, a woman, a child. So it had something to do with family, royal family, but affecting the family. In a very symbolic way, 
a decision like this is not an easy one. The, the reason had to be very, very important, very significant. It, it would be a reason that would destroy the reputation if leaked. Show me who the Nine of Cups is here. Who is this Nine of Cups? Show me the Nine of Cups on the table. A woman. Well, we have the Out in the Cold card. Sorry. A woman that enjoyed the happiness, the comfort from this relationship and her life and was having everything going for her is the woman who was then trapped, tied up against her will, blindfolded from the world and isolated because of this matter. So this is when it began and this is when it took place and the joy it brought until it was found out. Show me the Queen of Wands. Who is the Queen of Wands? Is it the same as the Nine of Cups as the end by the end or the future of that energy show me yes someone who was going to have power a great amount of power and authority a future queen who was able to Not just be empowered, but instruct powerfully. And was looking forward to this happiness, but I feel here that Can you see the power of this woman, a future queen, a woman queen in the making would have this extreme charm and beauty and charisma and enigma about her, you know, to make decisions, to take action and perhaps felt that this is where her comfort was or her need was and to cover it up to cover it up didn't work out that way it didn't work out that way so the mind was planning ahead taking action ahead Well, there's the birds saying yes. There's the lover's card at the bottom. Right. Show me the six of wands. Who, who is the victor? Who did this? That is so proud of the execution or the ending of the accomplishment, the triumph that's keeping everybody in the dark. Show me who that is. Queen of Cups, a feminine energy. Not necessarily gender specific, but was a very emotional decision to take.
this could also be Princess Catherine's energy. Having discovered all of this and gone through a great depression of this is how it could end or result in. There is definitely a link here between the two and I somehow happened to say it in this card because that's how it was coming out. There is a link here between the two and when it was found out it brought a great sadness that are you going to sit on the throne with this type of a image and expect for it to be all well? Oh God, it doesn't make any sense. It, it sounds so just unexpected and not even where I, where I intended for this to be or to go. I just needed to know what happened to him and if it was self-inflicted or not. Show me more. What's going on here? Is, is this, is Kingston's death linked have anything to do with Princess Catherine? There's the hangman. Show me more. Two of Wands. And we had the Two of Wands come out again. Uh, well, earlier. There's it here. And there we have it here. Give me one more on that. Oh dear. That fell on the floor. Let me just pick that up quickly. Okay, it's a Ten of Wands. So yes, everything went upside down. The tables turned on them. It seems like she was part of this. And she was hoping to find some happiness and joy in this matter. And maybe, see, she was going to hold the world in her hands. She was going to be queen, hold the world in her hands, perhaps not want to be found out. Um, She had a vision for the future, but I don't understand how he, she got involved in this energy. What was the promise? But it didn't work out. It, it went the other way around. It went the other way around. And it became very burdensome. There was no way out of this because it was found out. So now I'm thinking there is definitely some connection between the two here. There's definitely a connection between the two. This in itself is, in a situation like this, is I would hang myself, you know. I would just want to get out of the situation. I don't see a way out. You know, what, what is the world going to think about it? What, how do I present this to the world? And that's exactly what the palace is doing now. It's how do we... How does the truth come out? What is the truth? There's so many sides to the story and if the key people are not no longer in the storyline, they do not have, um, there's no defense on their side. There's just speculation. I'm not saying what's going on is right. I am saying that there's just too many ingredients in the same mixture and too many stories coming out as distractions but there seemed to be a link between all of these it's a cover-up for one to the other the 
world, the wheel of fortune. Could have money involved. But clearly the fortune of the palace, the monarchy is at stake. And it is a very unfortunate situation that the wheel will start revealing the truth. Okay. Show me clearly what is the link between Thomas and Princess Catherine. We had, we have another ace. We had the ace of wands and now we have the ace of swords. So definitely to be queen, a strong word or promise made and given that something will be inherited or, or passed on in this situation. Something took place between them behind the scenes that went bad only because it was found out it was exposed or revealed um, That just fell out of the deck as I picked it up. That is running away from the truth. Running away from the truth. Hiding from the truth. Trying to make a getaway. So this could be the situation that she had dealt with or they dealt with. Him then being found out. Hiding something but... How, how far can you run with the weight of as many swords in your hand? Bare feet or not being geared correctly. Not very far. You keep having to look over your shoulder to see who's following you. Who's behind you, who's chasing you. This is deception. something about children why am I feeling children in this energy in this reading what is the children about five of swords there was a battle of some kind what kind what is that about king of swords there's justice at the bottom of the deck there was a battle definitely a battle there's the fight there's five people here holding one person. There's the five of swords. So definitely a fight. For survival, it ended badly. And that winner is here in the six of wands. Victory from, the, from a battle. And that winner took the law in his own hands. Power. Power to rule, power to instruct, power to sacrifice. So a decision was made in which to eliminate, even if it had to be ruthlessly. So there could have been, I'm not sure, you know, Spirit is not giving it clearly. Was it to save the children from finding out or was she pregnant? With the Empress showing up, it felt like pregnancy, maternity. Straight away I felt pregnancy, maternity, 
nurturing. Give me two more and we shall close this reading. Give me two more please to end the reading. What do we need to know? It's like an energy I might want to revisit but it is so... These are the two cards, the page of cups. The bottom of the deck is the wall card. It could have been a contract between the two of them, you know, some agreement they made. And I do feel that it, that it was something that they've agreed upon, that they concluded on and promised each other. But the tower fell on them. Everything ended. This was sudden, unexpected, and involved two people. And the two people that seem to be in questioning here at the moment is Thomas and Catherine. Now we know what happened to one. It's been announced, and the other has not been. Officially. So, and that is what the world is waiting for. The information of the truth to come out. To bring an end and a conclusion to the situation. This reading was not about Princess Catherine. This reading was about Thomas Kingston. When I got that card that's when I saw Princess Catherine's energy in that card and well she's here in the reading so I will leave it at this this point of saying thank you very much for listening I cannot confirm the details spirit is not giving me the full details because not everything is meant to know um, just yet because there's one saga still waiting to unfold and unravel and be announced and settled um, but I do feel in the reading that in the end well at the beginning he was his life was taken intently it was ordered it was not self-inflicted um, you know suicide or a gunshot by accident etc you know whatever you make of it it was definitely inflicted it was planned it was plotted it was an assassination of some kind clearly a strong message was sent out to the royal family um, it could be a distraction it was a distraction it took a lot of attention away from the situations that are current and being questioned but more so there's an attachment of the word Middleton involved Pippa Middleton but I don't believe that it has something to do with her directly it is the surname itself that a message was being sent out you know I found something out so be careful be aware so what is one specific incident hiding from the next one is what we are concerned about two issues at hand that are being hidden that are being blindfolded that are not receiving the correct publicity and attention scrutiny investigation at this point And with that, I will love and leave this reading. And I do thank you for watching, appreciating. I thank you for your comments and your love. And look forward to the next reading on Queen Elizabeth II. I just want to bring in her energy and see how she feels about what is taking place in the, the structure of the royal family and 
you know, just in general. I'm not asking anything specific unless it's presented in the reading. But let's see what she is feeling or what energy is coming through about the fact that she reigned for a long time and had it all together. And now suddenly, within 18 months or 19 months, everything seems to be tumbling and crumbling. So, thank you. Love you. Until next, stay blessed.